Hey guys, so for today's video I am doing a DIY Valentine's Day party and this is actually a collab video with my really good friend Jamie here on YouTube, Jamie Page Beauty, and she's going to be doing the makeup and outfit and then I'm going to be doing the actual like party so I have a really fun activity and then like a little treat and a little gift you can give all your friends and if you guys didn't notice, my eyes are blue. So I'm wearing colored contacts right now just for fun. I'm actually going to Sam Smith right now and I'm so excited. So I got all ready and but you can't see my little bun. I did like a cute little bun on my head but it's kind of cutting out of the front. So that's okay. So you guys should right now go click on the link in the description for Jamie's video and let that load while you're watching this and then you can head on over to her channel after and subscribe because her videos are seriously so good. And also my dad's name is Jamie so it's kind of fun. So anyways, I'm going to stop talking now and let's get on into the video. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to be starting off with the most important part, which is the food, obviously, because you got to have delicious treats if you're going to throw a party. So I'm just going to be making this white chocolate bark, and it's seriously to die for. So I just take three packages of white chocolate chips, and then I put them in the microwave, and I put it on for about a few minutes, but I make sure every 30 seconds just stop it and stir it, because otherwise the bottom will burn, and it's just a waste of chocolate and would not be good. So then you just want to mix it all together just to make sure it's all melted. And then you're going to be taking your food coloring, and I just have red food coloring, and I mix it in with the white and then it just turns out this nice light pink color and I find you have to work pretty quick when you're putting it into the pan because otherwise the chocolate kind of starts hardening and then I just smooth it all out just so I have a really nice flat sheet and then on top of that I just added some heart shaped sprinkles which is perfect for my Valentine's Day theme and then I decided to add some marshmallows as well just because marshmallows and chocolate go so well together in my opinion and so I just sprinkle that all over and then I just kind of dab it down a bit so it actually sit right into the chocolate and then once I was all done with that I stacked it in the fridge and left it for about an hour and I love making chocolate bark because it's seriously so easy and barely takes any time and, the crowds don't remember. and so the next is a gift idea that you can give your friends after the party so I just picked up these boxes from the dollar store and I bought some candy hearts and a cute little bear and goodie bags are seriously so fun that was definitely my favorite part of going to parties when I was younger and so the next is a little treat that you can put out at your party or give to your friends after so I just picked up these boxes as well at the dollar store and I just filled them with the marshmallow hearts and they're just like a really cute Valentine's Day theme treat So next I'm going to show you guys an activity that you can set up at your party. So I'm taking this boring old wall and turning it into a really fun photo booth. And so the first thing you'll need is just some painter's tape and I'm going to be putting a long strip on my wall with the sticky side facing out because then it's a lot easier to stick the streamers to. And then I just secure it with some tape and I put it on my sweater first just so it's not too sticky. And then I'm taking my red and pink streamers and then I'm going to be sticking them to the tape and then all the way down. And I went through about two rolls to do this. <laughs> photo booth you can also add some props as well which makes it way more fun so I just picked up these heart shaped balloons and little heart stick things and I also did this fun DIY where I just got some white poster board and then I cut it out so it looked like a Polaroid picture and wrote hashtag single on one side and then kind of the opposite of that hashtag not single slash taken and you could post with your friends and create really cute photos <laughs> So last but not least, I have a fun DIY you can do at your party that you can either do by yourself to decorate or you can have all of your friends put on lipstick and kiss the board and it's just really fun memory to have and it's really simple so you just pretty much put on lipstick of different colors and then you just get a canvas of whatever size you want and then you just kiss it and make a really cute photo. Bye. you guys enjoyed watching that video leave a comment down below letting me know if you guys are planning on having a valentine's day party and if you decide to use any of these things make sure to tweet me it's at tfashion files and also follow me on instagram for lots of updates coming up and yeah i guess i'll see you guys in my next video bye Thank you.